Welcome to Chisholm Trail 61. Today we're doing a side dish that's good for any holiday, any time of the year. You've already seen the thumbnail, you've already read the title. We're doing a sweet potato casserole, and I'm going to show you how I do that coming up right now. Okay, we got our sweet potatoes rinsed off and dried, and we got them laying out on the cookie sheet here. And what we want to do is we just want to pierce, take a fork and pierce the top of them. Just to let the steam release there. Now we got all of them pierced. I'd already pierced these. I'm just showing you how I pierced them on that one. Uh, but what we want to do now, we're going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees. And then uh, for 40 to 45 minutes until they're completely done all the way through. And then we'll bring you back at that point. Okay, we got our sweet potatoes done there and out of the oven. Got them peeled and uh, just chopped up. And I'm just breaking them up a little bit here with a knife blade you can see what i'm doing here and the reason we bake them and don't boil them because if you boil your sweet potatoes you're just adding a lot of water in to your sweet potato that's going to dilute your flavor of your uh, sweet potato casserole uh, so you want to even if you're making a sweet potato pie you want to bake your sweet potatoes don't boil them because if you boil them then like i said you just uh diluting down the flavor you lose a lot of flavor out of your sweet potatoes so uh, i'm gonna hit this a lick with my mixer there and see can we get it mixed up just a little bit just to get them broke down some and uh because what we want to do we want to get them broke down some so that we can uh sort of make a uh a custard uh custard you know uh, uh get them smooth in other words so we need to get them broke down into little pieces there. And so uh, I'm going to do that. Try to get them broke down a little bit with my thing here. Then I'm going to hit them with my potato masher some. Just trying to keep them slinging them everywhere. Just get some of them started breaking down good. And then uh, you can... Uh, Take a potato masher and I've been hitting on them there for a minute and just mash them down. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Just take mash them down. And we want to just get them mashed down good and get them, you know, broke down smooth. Uh, we don't want no chunks in it. We're just going to get them broke down. But like I was saying, uh, you never want to boil your sweet potatoes whenever you're making a casserole or a sweet potato pie you want to uh what you want to do is you want to bake it that way you, you know your potatoes your sweet potatoes hold all that flavor because if you add that water to them boil them in water then you're just losing a lot of your flavor in the water and uh you know that's not good you know i mean why, why you want to dilute your potatoes down you want to save as much flavor as you can. But we, got, we got about four or five uh, pretty good sized potatoes here. And uh, we baked them, like I said, 400 degrees. for. We baked them for about 45 minutes because, or 45, 50 minutes, because, you know, we had some pretty, pretty big potatoes here. Uh, how long you bake them is going to depend on what size, you know, how big your potatoes are. Uh, if you got the smaller potatoes, then you won't have to bake them near as long. But you do want to get them mashed down. You know, just like you're doing mashed potatoes, the only thing you don't want to add uh, nothing to them at this stage. You want to get them sort of mashed down first. Once you get them mashed down, then you can, uh, we, we'll add our, our stuff to them to make a casserole. We want to get them broke down some first yeah they starting to come together there now really this casserole is really simple to make the longest part of it is probably uh baking the potatoes so let's see what we got here that's looking pretty good there Make sure I got the majority of those chunks broke up. 
like I said, you don't want no chunks in it. And we're going to mix it some more with a, our hand mixer there. But we want to get it broke down as good as we can before we start, uh, start adding our, our spices and things like that to it. This is really a real simple recipe that we're, going, we're doing here. It's not that hard, but it's a really good tasting uh, sweet potato casserole recipe. I'm just going to try to hit that a little bit more there. Who don't like a sweet potato casserole? I tell you what, I can eat a sweet potato casserole any time of the year. Just lay one in front of me and I guarantee you I'll eat it. Yeah, you just give me one. Don't matter if it's Christmas or New Year's or July the 4th. You know, I'll eat it. I'm just scraping down the sides of my bowl and getting up in there in the middle there just to be sure that I don't have any any big chunks hiding out there on the bottom. So, uh, just rolling it over, making sure that I got everything done good. All right, that looks pretty good. What we're going to do now, we got a three quarters of a cup of brown sugar packed firmly. We putting in there. We got right here we got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now you may say, man, you know why you're gonna put cinnamon in there, but hey, just well to go ahead and flavor it up. You know what I'm saying? I mean there ain't no sense not flavoring it. We got a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just for contrast, we got a teaspoon of salt. That salt, what that salt will do is it'll bring out the, the sweetness flavor in, in it. And then we got two eggs at room temperature. Now, those eggs have never been in the refrigerator. If you hadn't watched my uh, video on how to preserve farm fresh eggs, you need to go back and watch it because those eggs right there I put up in a jar back in May of this year and this December 23rd right now. About seven months ago I put them in a jar and preserved them, put them in on the pantry shelf. They've been sitting on the pantry without any refrigeration at all. Like I said, they had never been in the refrigerator and they still as good as they was the day I got them uh, from my chickens. We got a quarter cup of butter there melted going in and we're going to give that all a good a good mix there yeah and farm fresh eggs you need to you need go back and watch that video on farm fresh eggs if you want to see how to preserve your eggs if you got chickens and you do your own eggs Just breaking that down, getting it really good mixed. We're gonna rake that down our sides there again on that. See what we got there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's looking good there. Nice and creamy. Now you don't want it runny. You want it creamy, but you don't want it runny. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, how creamy that is. But you see it's it's not really liquid, but it's it's not solid. I mean it's it's a 
it's a liquid mixture. I'm going to rake it down good and we're going to hit it one more time before we go on to the next step. Hit it just a little bit more with that mixer just, just to make sure we got everything incorporated good. Okay, that ought to be good. We're going to just set that aside. I told y'all before, I may not be the best cook in the world. I can make a mess with the best of them. Y'all see, I make a mess every time I cook. I don't mind, mind admitting it. I'll, I'll make a mess every time I cook, but that's okay. I got a 9 by 13 uh, casserole dish here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to butter it all over real good. And butter the bottom of it around. Because, hey, you know, Ain't nothing goes better with the uh, sweet potato casserole than butter. You know, butter just enhances the flavor of them sweet potatoes. And uh, if if you eat sweet potatoes, you know what I'm talking about. But we wanna we wanna get it buttered up good. This also keep it sticking to the pan is the main reason that we uh we do this. But you wanna butter your casserole dish really really well all around. Get it up on the sides and stuff. You know, all over. And uh, you know, a certain amount of butter to use. I mean, just you just want enough to go around. I probably melted about three tablespoons here, but I'm not going to use it all. I just want to get my casserole dish buttered up real good. You can see see what I'm talking about there. I got it buttered up really well there. So, so now what we're going to do? We're going to just take our our uh, sweet potato mixture and we're going to just break it out into our Our dish here, out into our casserole dish. We're gonna set this bowl over here out the way. We're done with that bowl, and we're just gonna sort of spread this around. Man, I'm ready to eat this right now. I'm actually making this for a dinner. Uh, so. Uh, but this is a good, good recipe uh, for, like I said, a dinner, a gathering, or whatever, or good uh, at Christmas, Thanksgiving. Uh, me, I like I like sweet potato casserole anytime I can get it. But uh, you want to just smooth your top out there, like so. Just get it as smooth as you can. Smooth it down, and then we're gonna take. Uh, about two cups of marshmallows, give or take, you know, just more or less. There's no exact measurement on how many marshmallows you need to put on there. You just want to get you, well, you know, if you like marshmallows, you can put more. If you like don't like them as well, you can put less. And they, you can also put pecans, use pecan for a topping on this. Uh, personally, I, I just prefer my uh, sweet potato casserole without the pecans. Uh, and two, you know, like I said, it's for a dinner. And I know that some of the people at the dinner has a nut allergy. So, you know, I mean, I'm not going to put nuts in it. Uh, that way, you know, I mean, you don't have to worry about, you know, because you never know, you know, if, you, if you're fixing it for a dinner. And like I said, I know that, uh, you know, some of the people at this dinner has nut allergies. And so I'm not putting nuts in it. Uh, but... I'm just sort of pushing them down just a little bit there. Just making sure that they sit good in that. Uh, on top of my sweet potato mixture there. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to get me a couple more and fill in a couple of these little holes. Because I, like I like to have a good cover of sweet uh, marshmallows, I mean, on my sweet potato. Yeah, some people, like I said, if you you know, if you don't like marshmallows that well, you don't have to have to do this. You you know, you don't even have to put marshmallows on it. But I like the marshmallow topping on mine, so uh, I'm gonna put be sure I fill in these little gaps around with mine uh, with marshmallows. Because to me, it just makes it look better, and it also 
enhances the flavor whenever you get a complete cover of marshmallows there. You know, you get a complete coating of marshmallows that, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm just gibber gabbering, you know, just to hear myself talk, but <laughs> I'm a, I, I, I just like the marshmallows on top. And I mean, I like a good coating of the marshmallows. Now, what I don't, don't do, I don't try to stack them up, you know, like put two or three layers of them. I try to keep them pretty much in a single layer. Uh, Cause that way they all toast good uh, in the oven. Man, this is gonna be a good sweet potato casserole. What we're gonna do now? That that looks pretty good there. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it. Our oven's preheated to 375 degrees and we're gonna bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes until we get a you know a our, our marshmallows are, are melted and starting to brown on us. And then we'll bring you back at that time. Okay, we got a sweet potato casserole out of the oven there. We cooked it about 25 minutes. So uh, get it brown on top. And you see, man, it looks good. It smells good. I can't wait to get in it. I'm not going to do a taste test because like I said earlier in the video, this is actually for a dinner. And I'm afraid if I, if I, took a bite of it I'd wind up eating half of it and they wouldn't but a half of it if that much get to the dinner so uh but anyway y'all try this recipe if you will you'll enjoy it I guarantee you hey give the video a thumbs up if you will like share comment subscribe to our channel we appreciate all of you that do we appreciate all of you that take the time out of your day to watch our videos sweet potato casserole we'll see you on the next one